Hello, Brickmania introductions. Uh, Brickmaniacs, welcome back to a sit rep episode of Brickmania TV. Today, we are going to show off a bunch of cool stuff, go over some new releases, give away some prizes. Dan, where do you want to start? Well, you just gave away the episode. That's the episode. You don't I guess have to watch we're done. Anymore. Thanks. Thanks. That's it. <laughs> oh, seriously, uh, let's start with the new releases. This is this is exciting. So we'll start with the new releases. Kind of a big deal. Kind of a big uh, deal. I'm going to start with the big. I'll start with dessert first. Whoa. This is the big one. This is this is the one that's going to break the bank and cause everyone to hate us because it's so 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 pricey. Crazy. But if you can if you can get your foot in the door on this bad boy, um, if it's within your budget, you will be one happy 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 train conductor, because this is the new S160 locomotive. So it is basically the Sherman tank, American Sherman tank of locomotives. When when you're talking about winning a war, you need to have transportation. And when the United States went to war in Europe. They brought their own trains with them because they knew that the European trains would be devastated, the whole rail system. So um, S-160, United States Army Transportation Corps, um, designed this train specifically to replace the European, the destroyed European trains. Um, first used in England to haul uh, the, the, the troops around that were staging for uh, um, Normandy D-Day. And then eventually they are all, most of these were sent to Europe. Um, so S160 locomotive designed by Kale Leapart and Glenn Holland of Brick Model Railroad Rotor. Um, they are the professional train builders. We had we, we worked with them to create this kit. It's massive. You can build the S160 locomotive to U.S. standards. You can build it to European standards or British standards. They have uh, instructions and parts for all three. Comes with the power functions motors, power functions IR receiver, power functions. Uh, battery box and even the remote control. So basically everything you need out of the box to build this, you have to provide your, provide your own track and your own batteries. It's a massive set. There's a separate video, of extensive separate video. You've probably mm -hmm. been seeing us talk about this for quite a long time. It is available now. First batch of 25 copies um, is, is on the website as you see this. Um, we will make more if we need to. Um, we can't, make, can't promise we'll be, have, be able to keep it in stock forever because they are actually uh, seems that Lego is discontinuing the whole power function system. So this is going to be, who knows what, when the replacement or if there's going to be a suitable replacement left. But we have enough units to make 25 yes. of these, and, and there they are. Yeah, it's a really, it's actually a really cool collaboration uh, between you guys. We, we uh, printed off some uh, custom 3D printed parts for this kit as right. well. Right, the whole this, you get this. This is the, your custom. The, basically, your whole. It, it, it's in, it's in the video, but this is your whole. This is enough of the the drivetrain parts, the valve gear parts, to make one tr one train. You actually get a second. So, if you wanted to make a second locomotive, you have the parts, Ooh. the rare custom 3D parts. We do. We put it's, a second bag. It's in. really cool seeing those things just in action. I don't know if camera guy wants to splice in some cool. Footage. Yeah, we've we've took plenty of footage. And also, I should mention that brick stuff on their own. This is this is not at our 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 prodding or encouraging at all. Decided to make a light pack that is an add-on light pack. Um, you can power right off the power functions IR uh, terminal. You can basically jump le electrical from there, mm -hmm. put a, lo uh, a, a light in the in front of your locomotive, and there's actually a second lead that if you wanted to, you could uh, light up the cab of your locomotive, put a rear light. So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty neat that uh, Rob from BrickStuff took it upon himself to do that. It is not available from BrickMania. You have to go, there's a URL that you can follow that you can order that separately. Um, and I made a little uh, a video showing how I connected it, uh, completely separate from this. So anyway. It's really, I mean, it's just, this is a cool kit. It's, I think, one of the first time you can actually buy a fully functioning steam um, locomotive. Right, and I just, just show you, to show you how complicated this kit is, this is the instruction book. It says not okay because it's one of our, our prototype books. Um, we found some, a couple errors in it, but this is here. Get rid of that. That's just corrections. But this is 90 pages of instructions on how to build. So if you look really closely, you can see right now how to build this locomotive. So here we go, quick. Yeah. Yeah, that, so secret's gone. Yes, yeah, so Lego, Lego, obviously they release trains on their own, but nothing like this 90 has, has pages. ever really been attempted before. So. Right, you get two figures, two custom figures with it. They are uh, top of the line premium Brick Mania figures for your, your engineer and your uh, fireman. So, Very cool. Yes. And going with that, you have some of your own releases to coincide. Right, this is a USATC 40 foot flat car. It's based uh, construction methods and techniques were based on the brick model railroader standards. Uh, I uh, have to say I, I borrowed heavily from what Kale and, and Glenn had done previously. It is equipped with brick model railroaders bearing wheels. So yeah. this thing will roll like, like crazy. You can line up, you can take this locomotive, it. buy like 20 of these things and, and haul it around your track circle and it wouldn't have any, barely any friction I think, at all. I think it lets you haul more than double the amount of, uh, more than double, like four times the amount of cars. Right, right. We used to have a problem with the, the you know, when if, if, if you're familiar with the Lego train system, 
any weight behind the locomotive, the tr cars could uh, come uncoupled, all this stuff. This is not only does it ha basically frictionless uh, rolling, um, it actually uses the old school Lego uh, magnets rather than the fully encapsulated, you know, uh, right. with plastic ones. The new, the, the new style uses the old style, which worked better. Um, I mean, I, I understand why Lego switched for legal reasons, so kids don't eat the batteries that come in here. The or magnets? Not the, the magnets, yeah. And <laughs> there's no batteries. Eat. There's no batteries. But this, this, you get one flat car. The flat car already has wheel chocks for your And this is, M4 I mean, this A1 is a Sherman. really awesome. Um, like this is the one, yeah, 148 scale. About 146, one, you know, somewhere. So if you're like in that, that build smaller scale, this is actually will match your, your 145th to 148th scale models. Um, so this is assuming a minifigure is maybe closer to six feet tall, something like that. Right, right. I mean, it's it's a different scale. I mean, this is like 148, eight O gauge for for your model railroaders out there. Um, it is an M4A1. We the only way be previous you can get an M4A1 from Brickmania was if you were part of our Kickstarter. Ooh. Um, so this is we haven't release this tank in any scale in three four years now so um, we did make a bunch of these there's way more there's 25 of these 50 of these and 200 of these made in the first batch um, so you don't have to necessarily buy the train we could have made it so you buy the whole thing all at once but we were nice and we let I think everybody. there's plenty of people that maybe they're not into trains but they are definitely are into tanks right and this is definitely an entry level the, the price point in this is way better than the, the, the price point of the 135th scale you have to provide your own tank commander I mean, none of these hatches actually open there's a separate video look at look at the s160 video um, there's a set another video with the flat car and the uh, uh, the m4. A1. Very, very cool. That's it. So that's a huge release. Um, yeah, yeah this is this is huge. <laughs> I, I have a feeling they're not going to stick around. No. Um, so don't, uh, you know, don't count on it being around for a long time. We will try to restock it. But as with happened in some of our previous releases, we get to a certain point, we can't make more. Right. Very cool. And it's not because of choice. It's because we just can't get some the of the parts. parts. Yeah. Right. So. So we want to talk about uh, restocks. restocks. We got a cool. lot of restocks. Obviously, let's start with the Jeep because that's super cool. Right, this is Cody's Jeep. This is the we call it the Jeep uh, one quarter ton four x four truck or truck four x four as the military would call it. Um, this is sort of like the premium Jeep, so it's going to cost you more, um, but it looks and works. It's sturdy. It's awesome. It's it, it, it's our top of the line Jeep model. We do have the canvas and trailer add-on pack, so. Uh, if you want to get that ammunition trailer to, to go with it, um, and of course the canvas roof, it converts. Uh, if you're looking to get the Jeep and thinking it's in here, uh, think again. You have to buy the Jeep first, this second. Yes, <laughs> so the canvas cover. The, the nature of the add-on pack says it's an add-on. So add yes, you Don't have to get see, that confused. Yes, you have to do both if you want to have what you see on the cover here. Yes, cool. Um, some figures lots and, and some lots custom of printed parts. Uh, this is the, let's see, where are we starting here? Uh, World War II US 101 Airborne, 101st Airborne, right over here with some arm printing on that. Pretty basic figure, straightforward. Yeah. This it's a classic. Right? It's a classic Brickmania figure. These are actually going to be discontinued. Yes, this so, might be the last chance that you can purchase some of these. So. Right, so we're switching over to all of our next generation figures. We'll all have printed legs. Of course, it means it's going to cost a little more. But um, we still have some of these. We decided to do one more batch while, while we, while we yeah. before we make the official switch. While it's still 2018. That's right. Next up is the World War One French Rifleman with that cool texture printed mustache. <laughs> <laughs> that is a key feature. Absolutely a key feature. <laughs> um, and the insignia on the helmet there. Woo. Texture, texture printed, 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 yes. Printing all the way around, underneath the arms. I don't um, know if you know a little bit about texture printing. So we, when we do our, our printing, uh, we're using a process basically used for making braille signs for the blind. Um, and we can actually raise the ink up. We put a lot of ink on it. Um, it's, it's not a fast process. It actually takes a little bit longer to do than uh, just say for just printing a normal uh, print on it. Um, but it's unique. You can't do that with pad printing. You can't do that with, you know, other than adding an accessory to sure. it. So, but this is durable. It will not crack off. Well, I mean, you can if you really get if a If you're trying to damage it, yeah, you can break <laughs> your Lego if you try to damage it. That kind of goes without saying. Yeah. <laughs> so don't do that. This, this will, but it's, it's, it's uh, more than ready for play. It's about as hard as the, the material used to do fillings in your teeth. Yeah. So. <laughs> it might actually be the same material. <laughs> you'll, you'll damage the brick before you damage the actual Yes. Printing. Um, next up, let's see where we have. This is the Urban Rommel Desert Fox. Urban Rommel Desert Fox premium figure comes with the clamshell, which we do not have one here, but this is this is as cool as you can. We have one. I'm this sure. one comes with the stand. You get the stand, clamshell. Cool. It has a cool printed stand, which we only do for like named characters, which we very rarely do these days. So. Right. Uh, this is kind of a holdout from earlier in the year, and mm -hmm. uh, get them while they last. 
Um, then finally for figures, we have the World War I German Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper, that is a super premium figure. Super premium. I, Dan, uh, it was cool of him. He let me do everything that I wanted to do on this figure. <laughs> um, no, yeah, it's just, it comes with everything you see here. No holds bars uh, as a Stormtrooper. Over molded, is that an MP18, I believe? Um, yes. MP18 with that cool like snail ammo drum right there. Also over molded. Uh, so the only black and gun metal, and I, I think that's the only way you can get the black and gun metal. Right, right. right. There's no. I put in a special order with Will for these ones. Um, it's a handmade weapon too. Yes, Will is. It's those are prototypes. Will is hand injecting these things one at a time. So very rare, very cool. Then of course you have the texture printed. Um, excuse me. Uh, you have the texture printed um, like body lo armor. Lobster armor. The lobster armor on the on his torso there. So it actually raises up a little bit. Uh, and again, this is a pretty time-consuming process for the guys in print. So, um, love the love the printed helmet. Yeah, the printed helmet. It's kind of like a super late war. This is kind of the the uh, the final days of World War One. Um, so this guy has seen some battle here, and then of course this crazy um, texture printed. There's a little bit of texture printing going on on this stand. It's you basically you have no man's it's land. The no, it's no man's land. There's <laughs> the no man's land stand. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think that there's, you know, all bullet casings. Yeah, um, it's cool. Yeah. Teeth, cool. everything. Teeth, you know. everything. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> last but not least, UN helmet and the Balkan Cruise printed tile. Simple yeah. stuff. Yeah, just restocks. So I know I know we were out of those for a while, so have no fear, we restock them. Uh, cool. Um, what else? We have... Rats and foxes restocked. Oh, yeah, this is, so this is part of, a, we're doing a sale starting now. Um, starting... Right. It's already it's started. already started. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, knew, started. I knew this. I knew that. Um, twenty percent off all Brickmania books. Yes. This is our tank builder sale. So yeah, it's twenty percent off track links and books. Right, and we just got a restock of track links too. So, um, we're, if, if they've, some of the sizes and, and colors you wanted were sold out, we are actually putting more together as we speak. So hopefully oh, we'll God. have all nine yeah, different yeah. varieties up. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that because this time of year it's hard for us to keep anything in stock. Cool. Um, you want to go through the books quick? Just Rats and foxes. This is this is your World War II in North Africa. So mostly British, uh, British and German stuff. A small smattering of other allies and Axis, French, Italian. Or, there's no French, but Italian and uh, Canadian. Operation Barbarossa, this is our first Brickmania book. So this is Russian Front, 1941. Uh, it may seem thinner than the other books, but it has a huge amount of content. Vietnam Bricks. So this is our first book, first collection of all the, the classic Brickmania Vietnam War kits. Uh, basically, as it was, as everything we had as of like a year and a half ago. Um, so there's more now, of course. Does but that one have the tactical palm tree? Oh, I don't think it does. Yeah, it does. It does have the mark, the palm tree mark one. I think this might be the first appearance. Yes. Or was it in rat? No, because rats and foxes, you got buildings. Mm -hmm. You got that. You got that cool North African building in it as a bonus. This has a palm tree. Okay, next up, Battle of the Bulge. This is the latest book of, of Brickmania. Um, it's basically winter 1944 Western Front. So you have United States versus uh, Germany in the late war stuff. Your Panther is in here. There's some good stuff in here. Um, one thing I should point out, this one is a paperback edition. This comes in two different editions. Paperback meaning it has a paper spine. If you try to squish this down flat so you can build everything in it, like like put some bricks on it or something, it will break the spine. So it's a do your, if you're gonna be building out of it, uh, a lot. Do yourself a favor. Get the spiral binding. It does come in both bindings. This, this one, is just a, it's a slightly cheaper option. It lets us um, have it in stores. Right, and it, and it's it's more of a reference guide. You can still use it to print stuff out of it. But if you lay it, if you break the spine, the, it will come apart. Just so you know. Yeah, I just just spine. FYI. Yeah. Don't ever break. Don't the don't spine. abuse your books. We are obviously great lovers of books, and we don't advocate laying any book flat. It'll right. it'll break it unless it's designed to be laid flat. There you go. As in bricks in the sand here. Last so time. this is the first. De this is 19 desert desert storm. 1991, so the early first first uh, Iraq war, all your models will be in here. United States, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, we got all mm. kinds of cool stuff in here. Um, US Marines, US Army, so this is a good book. Recommend it, it is on sale, 20% off. And of course, Brickmania and track track And so you might have got, you might have, uh, you might be getting some books for Christmas or have gotten some in the past. Now if you wanna actually build some more tanks, this is a perfect time. It's a good to time to stock up. Brickmania track links are made in the U.S., uh, made in the U.S.A., actually made in Illinois. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but maybe not 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 by us, but more like by our store. In, in yeah, but we there they are made by close friends of ours. So, we appreciate the the 
Awesomeness. Awesomeness. Yes. Awesomeness. Yes. Awesomeness of helping our friends who are helping us. Right. right. All right. So that is the tank builder sale, and then it's going from now through Monday. So get on that. Yeah. Christmas Eve. After Christmas. After. Christmas Day, no, no tank buster sale or tank, mm, tank Get on it, get on it. Um, cool, that's it for that. Let's give some stuff away, Dan. Well, let's talk about the magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll be part of the giveaway. But yes, let's talk about the magazine. Okay. We, are, we are hard at work. Um, this is our last issue, uh, draft copy two. Just, this is a draft copy that we're going to be giving away. But we are hard at work on the next uh, winter 2019. Right. Um, so January, February, March. So very soon that will be coming out. Yes, we're hard at work year. right now. So. Yep, it's coming out, but we do want to. If you have not subscribed, now is as good a time as any. Um, basically, you don't want to miss an issue. But if right. you subscribe, you'll be the first to get it. You'll be you'll get them right away. This thing is jam packed with like there's instructions here. There's history articles, instructions, talk of, you know Hello information about Brick Mania that you will not find anywhere else. Oh, I'm, I, who's that? Weird. <laughs> Weird. Weird. So, uh, just full of really awesome, cool stuff. So you can follow the Brick Mania team, and we will reward you with lots of cool stuff. Every every issue either has some sort of insert in it, like a sticker sheet, or this one actually has some bricks, uh, the micro brick battle. Yeah, yeah, you saw those. It has effects cards, um, comes in it, and you have a scenario. So uh, the micro brick battle, we are actually, this one actually, this is the, the fall issue, actually has the basic rule set in it. So mm -hmm. uh, you're not going to be able to get that any cheaper. Um, right. Other, you know, you can buy the book, the basic book, which is going to have a whole bunch of tank instructions in it. But see, it's got the full rule set for micro brick battles. So if you're looking to get into that game, right? And there's a little bit of updating, especially with the uh, the effects cards. The effects cards really make the game a heck of a lot more fun. Right. So, and we have important, exciting news about micro brick battle, <gasps> actually. But you have to w stay tuned for a future episode. I I, I, I want to tell you about it, but I can't. So. Can't. You can't. Okay. So we're going to give away this plus some other stuff uh, in just a second. First, let's uh, let's announce the winner for the previous week's prize. So last week we are giving away this one of a kind. Well, actually, two, three of a kind, four of a kind. Three of a it's kind. a rare crate, okay? Uh, it's a rare crate. It's a test print on a different color. Gunmetal, gunmetal, very rare. Have, brick Arms gunmetal. We may have made a few of those, a few of these, but um, yeah. I've you know. never seen them before in my life. <laughs> I know, I know of three that are right here. <laughs> oh, that's it. Okay, I know the three. So three of a kind. Um, and then there, we are giving away our uh, three newest uh, Perfect Caliber custom printed brick arms. Um, so that's designed in-house here. These are exclusive. These are Brick Mania exclusive. Not only is the printing exclusive to Brick Mania, but the guns are exclusive as well. So we worked with Will to get these cool new weapons put together, produced. Um, so it's the French battle rifle? Yep, FBR, and then you have the M27, and that's the... Uh, Rifle that the so Marines are using. Perfect caliber meaning that these are premium weapons. These have, in this case, we have two weapons with camouflage, mm -hmm. and you know they're they're like skinned, like you you'd see in video games. But actually, in real life, they do this. They spray paint. They do yeah. whatever it takes to, to make their weapons not stand out so much. Right. Um, so this first one's this kind of like a urban or desert sort of arid kind of camo. Just it's in the field. They would spray paint the uh, the gun, and it's. You no, know, pretty crude, but it works. It breaks up the silhouette. And we should point out with these camouflage ones, that no two are the same. Right, right. With the camouflage, with these two camouflage ones, uh, it's actually a random pattern that we put together. Um, so you know, every single gun, if you if you buy multiple, they're all going to look a bit different. So just, instead just of just having like in a real bunch life, of you know. Yeah. Um, and this one, uh, this crazy like zebra stripe one, this is uh, considered like a winter camouflage. Um, you know, I was just looking up some special some uh, pictures on um, the French Legionnaires actually on their official website. And they're showing some uh, some uh, soldiers decked out in this, their winter gear, and they would actually just take like electrical tape or like white duct tape or something, and uh, just just put these crazy patterns on their guns. So that's uh, yeah, I thought that was a really cool looking pattern. And then in the middle there, that's a. Uh, and this, yeah, this is the Marine M27. This is just what it looks like coming from the factory. Uh, the magazine is a slightly, I think that's just aluminum, so that would be a slightly different um, finish on that metal. Um, yeah, super cool. Again, these these three are produced by our graphic designer, Slam. Um, well, I'm sure we'll get them in on an episode one of these days, or maybe just a standalone thing would be kind of cool. Guns with Slam and Lando. Um, yeah, cool. a feature in a future uh, brick Figs man. and firearms. Yeah. Figs and firearms. That'd be kind of cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, why not? So that is this giveaway and the winner. It is the season for figs, right? Figgy, figgy pudding. Figgy pudding. Yeah, I don't know. Miggy pudding. Figgy, Miggy pudding. Yeah, that was on that our one. Oh, yeah. Christmas card oh, last year. Remind me. Terrible. <laughs> Sorry, camera guy. It was cool. Um, <laughs> all the way from Instagram. Ooh. With a picture of the Opal Blitz plus a I Heart Brick Mania brick. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Connor Dillahunty. Congratulations. Dillahunty. 
think I got that right. Right on. Yell at me if I got it wrong. But we appreciate all the pictures. We, you posted lots of pictures, of course. Uh, that helps. Very cool. <laughs> Key, if you wanna if you wanna win, you have to play. And, and Connor did play. Nothing wrong with a, like a bunch of cool pictures. We, so we the love more we, the better. Yeah, right? well, we appreciate the. Uh, we appreciate the, the, the shout outs on the internet. Cool. So yeah. how do you win? How do you win? Use the hashtag Brickmania on one of your, uh, just upload some unique content, a picture, a stop motion would be super awesome. Love to see that. Mm -hmm. um, on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and we will pick the, one, the, the video from the previous week, the video or the uh, content from the right. previous week for the winner. Speaking of content for the next one, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, so another one of That's these. Connor's. This is for Connor. For next week, obviously this draft copy of the magazine. Ooh, we can so autograph that one? We can autograph oh, it, yeah, yeah we'll let's, do it. let's we'll do, do it. it. We'll do it, we'll do it next week though. Next week we'll autograph it. Um, then we have uh, another one of these crates. Again, I think there's only a handful of these ever made just in this weird test color. Only a handful. I hey, stop making stop the crates. <laughs> <laughs> we have, this is a Desert Storm GI with six color battle dress uniform, BDs. very cool. All right, that is for next week. Chocolate chip, yes. For more information, that's the episode too. For more information, check out brickmania.com. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs>